you're a young player and you want to become nationally ranked. You want to play collegiate or professionally. You want to get paid to play this game. Many of you know Mikey Williams, Jada Williams, Victorious Miller, and Jazair Jackson. All players who strive to achieve greatness and play this game professionally. Each of them has held the top spots in the rankings list since they were only 15 years old, as well as multiple Division I offers from some of the best colleges in the nation. There it is, there it is. Up, oh, here you go, I got you. Hit that one too. Here you go. Perfect. Same foot, good hit. Good, right there. Since they were young, they've understood sacrifice. They understand hard work and what it takes to reach their goals and that there's no shortcuts to it. Just uh, introduce yourself. Who you are. I'm Jada Williams. How old are you? Where are you from? I'm 16 years old and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. Um, and uh, how do you like your workout today? Uh, it's probably the best workout, like in-game stuff I've had. So it was, it was really good. I definitely got to get in better shape, but definitely got some good work in. Now all three boys have had elite athleticism in size since a young age, but Jada hasn't. And that alone is not enough to make you ranked. Although this sport does favor height and strength and athletic builds, that is not the only determining factor on how to get ranked or who will be successful. Each of these players have displayed a dog mentality on multiple occasions where they're willing to win and do whatever it takes to make that happen. Let's take a look at some weaknesses as an example. For Jazair, mobility, of course, footwork, and being able to stay in shape was a huge one, something he's been working on a ton. Obviously, that comes with his ball handling, his shooting, and other parts of his game that he continues to expand. For Mikey, it was clearly his left hand. As a freshman, he never really used his left hand as he attacked the basket, and that's something that we diligently worked on because it was a weakness, and we didn't want it to continue to be that way. For Jada, she's very focused on being able to make shots with touch, like floaters, and being able to get to her spots off the bounce and create for herself. That way she can score as a smaller guard. However, for girls, it's very important that we work on their contact as well. For boys, it comes a little bit easier, but no matter what, every player, it's very important that they master their contact and they have no problem drawing contact, getting to the free throw line, or creating better angles with it. Good over, baby, good bump. Three, two, good job for that. Great, great, great job. Way to protect that basketball. Mm. Jazair is truly special for his size, with his ability to shoot, and has incredible footwork for a 7-footer. Great touch around the rim, and he's able to use both hands. Jazair will be successful for more than just his size. Five, four, three, hey. What helps him to be ranked, and what helps him to stay ranked through all of our workouts, is a very important key factor, well a few to be exact. But the main goal is not only to be ranked at a young age, but to be ranked when it comes time for Adam Silver or the WNBA commissioner to call your name. And that's the most important part, is that ranking. The first skill that each of them have mastered was the ability to dribble with both hands, because this allows them to attack both directions. So if the defense takes away the right side, you're able to go left. If they take away the left, you're able to go right. If you're able to finish with both hands, the same thing applies. It makes you a lot more crafty at the rim and gives you more options. Oh, that was tough, John. Ja. Oh, go, good, nice high rip. Bump, beautiful, left hand, thank you. Knock out, great job, Jay, great job, love it. The next piece of the puzzle, of course, relates more to the guards and less to Jazair. But it's very important that you can notice in all three of them, they're able to shoot the ball correctly, they have great rotation on the basketball, and they're able to make shots from multiple different spots on the floor. What can you do better, what can you do better? There you go, there you go, there you go. If you need to make an adjustment, go ahead and do it. Good, Hezzy pull-ups. Set it up, set it up, and then change. Put it down. Good snap. Great. So if you want to be ranked, here are the things you need to work on in order. Number one is going to be the ability to use both hands. Secondly is going to be contact. Third is going to be the jump shot. And then once you have those things down, then you can start to work on your IQ. And this way, it'll help you to get to the right spots at the right time and know where to be on the floor. It sounds pretty easy, but it isn't that easy because you have to master those things and do them against defense when people are trying to stop you. But if you're able to go right and go left, they can't stop you. If you can shoot, they can't back off you. 
If you understand the game, then you can get to the right spots. If you have good footwork, it makes it easier to get there and you can get there more efficiently. If you draw contact, you can take the angles that you want and no one can cut you off. So those are the reason that those are the most important things. From there, then you can be as creative as you want to how you want to get to those spots, whether you like to use crossovers or snatchbacks, spin moves behind the backs. The move doesn't necessarily matter. It's just how you get there and how efficiently you can do it. Good flow, good flow. So once these players have mastered the ability to go both ways, draw contact, shoot the ball correctly, they have a little bit of creativity with their footwork and they can attack the basket with Euro steps, spin moves, pro hops, floaters, etc. Now that they've gotten to their bag a bit, right? They have the crossovers behind the back, the spin moves, etc. Now, the key is to do these moves in game actions to make them as applicable as possible to an actual game. So that way they can transfer these skills. So when we go through our workouts, you're gonna see everything starts with either a V cut, a handoff, a pop out, some way to get you into the catch. So then you can attack off a closeout or you can attack in the post, or you can attack in a way that's the most game-like possible. Whether you're going in three seconds or five seconds or there's a double team coming, you want to continue to train and develop your game in the most game-like possible. You can see that we don't use any cones and that's not a problem to use cones, but you want to imagine. And players that have great imaginations can develop and transfer all their skills from training into games because they can see where the defense is, they know where they're supposed to be, and it makes it easier when you understand where the help side is, where your defenders are, what options that you have, what they can take away, because now all the same skills that you're training, the shooting, the contact, the change of directions, your touch, your floaters, all of the skills that you work on can work in real games. Seven. Eight. Oh. Ten. Left. Ten, okay. Wanna go elbow? Oh, all right. So here's my last and best piece of advice. But a lot of people often ask me how many shots they need to shoot per day or how many workouts they should go through per day. The problem with that question is that there's no set number that turns you into a professional. Everybody needs a different number of shots to master that skill. Everyone needs a different amount of reps. So for you, it might be 500 per day. For someone else, it might be 1,000 per day. But the number doesn't necessarily matter. What I always tell my players is this. You want to shoot until missing becomes weird. And that's not only with shooting. That goes the same with right-hand layups, with left-hand layups, with extended layups, with dribble pull-ups, with post-ups. You want to be able to get into every single action. Your post-ups, your spot-ups, your dribble handoffs, your pick and rolls, your mid-post. And be able to knock down shots and have counters for everything. But... When you make those shots or you finish those layups, everything should be done until it feels like missing is weird. If missing is a normal part of your game, then you might be going too hard. And as counterintuitive as that sounds, you might need to go back and start super, super easy with the basics, your form shots, your mic-ins, etc. And then once you master that skill with no defense, then start to add defense. So every skill you master, do it by yourself, right? One on zero. Then try it against a live defender. And then if you can do it and you've mastered that skill on that counter, it makes it easier for you, right? Then you can do it in a two-on-two -two game or a three-on-three -three game. Why? Because you get more touches when you play one-on-one, -on -one, when you play two-on-two, -two, when you play three-on-three. -three. If you play five-on-five, -five, you might get lost in the corner and you might not get the ball or get a chance to try the moves you're trying to work on. So first do it alone. Then against maybe some dummy defense or some real defense one-on-one. -on -one then twos, then threes, then fours, and eventually that skill will transfer into fives. But if you're working on new skills often, if you have counters for the way that the defense is guarding you, you're able to go both directions. You listen to all the advice that I've given you to draw contact, to shoot the ball correctly, etc. You're working on your skills through game actions like pick and rolls, like handoffs, like V cuts. Then when you see the defense step up, you'll have a counter for it. You can knock down that shot and it should feel like you should make that shot every single time. That's how you become ranked. That's how you become a better player and that's how you transfer your skills from youth to professional.
Boom. Go. Good low rip. One, two. Yep. Nice soft. Good left hand. Knock down. Love it. One more. Just like that. Beautiful pro hop. Understood? You know how to do a pro hop? Get straight to that middle. Good pass, Ryan. Yep. Good. Get down. One. Good. Last one. Put it home. Beautiful. You're going to jab and go middle. Are we clear? All right. When you get to the middle here, Dill, you're right there. I want bump. You're going to spin back to the baseline. All right. Down. Great shot. Down. Beautiful. Love it. You need a sip of water? You okay? Yeah. All right. Two free throws. 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 <laughs> Good. Nice one. Pop. Good. Knock out. Love it. Good. Bang. Beautiful. Get there. Over. Two. Great touch. Knock out. Good hit. One more. Beautiful. Pro hop. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Left hand. Got him. Knock out. Good. Knock out. Love it. All right, listen. When you grab the ball, you're going baseline. He's going to cut you off. Whatever move you want to make, I could care less. Just change directions. Get a paint touch. Floater. You can hurt him. Don't worry. Pop. Pop. Good. Right there. One. Pop. Good. Right here. One. Pop. Get down. Two free throws. I got you. I got you. There you go. Back to back. Good. Perfect. Two hezies. Put it down. That's your defense. Right? There it is. Good hit. Down. Don't look at it. Down. One, two, pop. There you go. That's one of your better ones. Good job. Down. There you go. I like that one. Thank you. Good. There's some. Good. Good. Good space. She said, I'm in shape. Balance. Good. There you go. Snap. Good. There. Tough. Tough. Here you go. <laughs> no hesitation. Pop. Good. Yeah, you got this. There you go. One, two, pop. Good. Yep, just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, two, pop. Just like that. Here you go. Come the other way. Justin, don't die. Down. Good. Now we're talking. Down. Up. Good. Other way. Dylan, number one rebounder in the nation. Down. Up. Get a little bit lower. Good hit. Good, 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 good. Pop, pop, knock down. Pop, pop. Good, switch. Pop, pop. Great job. Good. Good. Up. There you go. Pop, up, one more, just like that. Good. Right here, these first two. These first two right here. One and one more, just like that. Good. You can either set up on this side or you can set up on this side. You have to do a good job of setting up that screen. If you do a good job, I'll come set you a ball screen and you're going to use it. If he goes over, that's your fault. Like, don't let that happen. But if he does, talk to me and I'll go ahead and I'll twist it for you and I'll set you another one. A little lower, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. There you go. I got you. Right off it. Don't even hesitate. Understood? Good job. Put it your arm. Way to use your arm there. Good job. One. Two. Three, slide down. Don't miss two in a row. There you go, there you go, there you go. There's one. Slide down, slide down. 